Operating a modern vehicle's controls may seem pretty straightforward, but it really isn't. There are a lot of things that you need to coordinate in order to safely make even a single trip. Starting the engine, steering, accelerating, braking, and backing up. After a while, these tasks will become second nature to you. But let's take a look at each one of the controls that help you accomplish these maneuvers safely and effectively. Before we do that, however, you need to know about some laws first. No, not traffic laws, natural laws. You see, there are natural laws in play at all times, and like it or not, they affect your driving every second you're behind the wheel. The first natural law is inertia. Simply put, inertia means that an object in motion will stay in motion until it is acted upon by an outside force. As a car travels around a corner, inertia will work to keep it going straight ahead. Only if the tire's traction is great enough will the car follow the driver's intended path. If the tires don't have enough traction, the car will instead tend to slide to the outside of the curve, away from the driver's intended path of travel. The second natural law is gravity. Gravity is the force that keeps our feet on the ground. It pulls downward on objects, forcing them down to the lowest point possible. For example, when driving down a hill, gravity pulls you downward as well. The result is that gravity causes your vehicle to accelerate, often increasing your speed more than you want. In this case, you often have to apply the brakes slightly when driving downhill to prevent your car from moving faster than you want. The opposite occurs when driving up a hill. Gravity will try to pull you back down the hill. In this case, you often need to accelerate more in order to maintain the same speed at which you were traveling on the flat roadway. The third natural law is kinetic energy. This is the amount of energy needed to move an object. In our case, kinetic energy is affected largely by a vehicle's weight and speed. One key way that kinetic energy affects drivers and their vehicles is its impact on how quickly a vehicle can slow down. Basically, braking distances are strongly affected by how fast a vehicle is traveling. The bottom line here is that as you increase your vehicle speed, you dramatically increase the distance it will take to bring your vehicle to a stop, even in an emergency. This same thing applies to the forces involved in a crash. The faster a vehicle is moving, the higher the crash forces when a collision occurs. Although modern vehicles do allow us to get from point A to point B relatively quickly, always keep in mind that by increasing your speed, you also increase your risk of injury if you are involved in a collision. 